Hey, I'm Randy, and you're watching The Cheap Audio Man. Here at The Cheap Audio Man, we help everyone find high-value hi-fi home theater and headphone equipment. What if I told you for $160 you could make this, an $80 amplifier, sound like a $1,000 one? Would you believe me? Stick around, let's find out. So, grab a cup of coffee through your Rocktopus mug, which is available through my merchandise portal. And let's talk about the Sparkos op amps. Today's sponsor is Squarespace. Squarespace is a ridiculous easy way to start a website. I did it and we're gonna talk about that later. But thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. So what the heck is an op amp anyway? Well, an op amp is a little chip, and I'll show you some pictures, that amplifies a weaker electrical signal. They are used a lot in Class D amplifiers. Smaller amplifiers, DACs, all sorts of things. Chip-based op-amps became popular because one, they're cheap, and two, they take up a lot less space in an amplifier. So instead of having a giant receiver, you can have something like this, which is doing everything that the old receiver's doing. Maybe not as good, maybe it doesn't sound as good, but op-amps have been used and are used in a wide variety of audio electronics. Heck, my Akitika preamp has a bunch of op amps in it for each channel. So it boosts each channel signal a little bit before it gets boosted again, but they're very common. So there's something called op amp rolling. And that never made any sense to me, rolling in general, because I heard it with ear pad rolling. I heard it with tube, well, hold on. With tube rolling, yeah. So people all the time, if you're into tube amps at all, one of the first things people do is start to change out the tubes. Some people with headphones, start to change out the ear pads because it makes a difference in the sound. I think it's ubiquitous at this point that people change out tubes. And one of the reasons why they even buy a tube amplifier is to have the freedom to change the sound. Well, now that's being done on a chip level, but it's being done in a way that harkens back to the way stuff used to be designed. And that's with discrete components. A lot of people think that using separate components in audio equipment actually sounds better. And some folks like Burson Audio, like Sparkos Labs, have taken that and applied that to op amps. So generally an op amp just looks like a little chip, but with Sparkos Labs, they're taking the chip form factor and using discrete or separate parts. So does it sound better? Well, we're gonna find out. Let's take the AO7, crack it open, and roll some op amps, okay? I cut hot and bitter, just how I like it. Squarespace is a awesome way to start a website and I've used it. Actually, I use Squarespace to create my joke website called asmac.org, the Audiophile Standards Measurement and Certification Committee, because I had heard through the comments, emails, and even some direct messages that I was wrong, that nothing I was talking about is audiophile. So in my brain, I thought, hey, Here's what we can do. Nobody has a corner on the word audiophile, so I thought it would be funny to start an audiophile website that made fun of audiophiles and the whole thing in general. And there was only one place that I could figure out how to do that very quickly, and that was Squarespace. Within a couple of hours, I had my idea, I pulled up Squarespace, I built the website, and I had it up and running in probably three hours. And then I, I talked to some friends and got some advice on it. It's really easy though. You just drag and drop. There are a bunch of different templates. You pick the one that you like the best. You fill out whatever text you want, put in whatever pictures you want, and you're off and running. There are plugins for e-commerce, forms. There's all sorts of stuff. Basically anything you want to be able to do on a website, you can do on Squarespace and you can do it in a couple of hours. And it's very easy if I can do it you can do it. You can build the site, not even get charged until you upload it and make it live. You can get domain names, anything you want, right through Squarespace. So if you use squarespace.com slash cheap audio, man, you'll get 10% off your order. Squarespace, it's the easiest way to make joke websites.
So this may sound or feel or you may get the impression that this is a little bit intimidating. And really it's not because the only thing that we need to change out are two parts. And those parts are right here and right here. Now, one of the issues with this specific layout, there's not enough room to fit this where these chips are at, but there's enough room if you lift it up a little bit. So with op amps, these are what you're looking for on a board. And this is an op amp receiver. There are eight pins and there's a little notch. And that notch at the top tells you how the op amp should be oriented because if you put it in backwards, your bad, th <laughs> bad things are gonna happen it's gonna work, not work and then it's gonna fry your op amp. So you gotta make sure that you line up these notches together. If you look at the bottom of the Sparkos, you'll see that it has a notch right there. And so you just line the notches up. Now this will be on the board of whatever you're trying to swap out. However, since there's not enough real estate, the only thing I had to do is take an extra one of these and stack it on top of the one that's already on the board in the same orientation, of course. You can get these from Sparkos' uh, website. I think they're two bucks a piece. For a whopping $4 added on to your $160 investment, you can have this and install it in here. So let's do that. So sometimes these kind of get in there pretty good. I've had these out a couple of times and you can use your little fingers or a needle nose pliers very carefully. I'm gonna see if I can get these out just by hand. Use a little leverage, my trusty knife. You'd be surprised how much you would use a pocket knife. I use this one multiple times a day. I've got this little guy out and you'll see it's got eight little pins on here. And sometimes if you ever have an issue getting these back in, or even if you get another op amp that is chip based, which a lot of people do, um, it's just because these little legs aren't lined up properly. So you can just kind of bend them back. I mean, don't be like heavy handed with it, but you can just bend them back into place and then drop them in. Since we don't have enough room to get this op amp into here, the only thing I need to do is press another one of these guys on top of it with the same orientation if you look at this the notch is to the top so i just take this orient it the same way these pins on here are a lot tougher so you don't really need to bend those so it's very easy you just push it in and that's all there is to it now we take the sparkos op amp make sure we orient it the right way we line up that notch and we just push it right into on top. Boop. Now we're done. Well, with that one. So as you can see, it's right here. There is just barely enough clearance above these capacitors right here. So perfect. Let's put the other one in. I Once again, I'm going to take my little riser so that I can give myself a little bit more real estate, a little bit more height. I'm going to line up the notches. I'm going to drop it right in there and shove it in. Then I'll take another Sparkos op amp, put it in. Make sure I'm lining up the notches, line up the notches, and boom. There you go. So now we have the two Sparkos op amps installed in the IEMA A07. Now we're done. The only thing we need to do is plug it in, stick some RCAs in the back of it and listen to some sweet sweet music so you want to make sure you take your old op amps and put them somewhere safe because they are quite small and even getting this one out not that one 
this one. I did bend one of the legs just a little bit, but with a little bit of a needle nose pliers, even with fingers, you can kind of get them lined back up. This is very, they're very malleable. You can bend them very easy, so easily. So just be careful. Put them somewhere where you know it. Put them in a baggie or something like that in your top desk drawer, okay? So sound wise, uh, and this is all sound improvement. So there's not going to be power improvement per se. Sound improvement, immediate improvement in clarity, immediate improvement in instrument separation, larger sound stage, cleaner presentation. It just sounded like a more expensive amplifier. Does it sound like a thousand dollar amplifier? Sure. Not all thousand dollar amplifiers sound the same though. So your mileage is going to vary depending upon what type of equipment you have. What I will say and what I will put my name on is it is going to sound much better than the A07 with the stock op amps. And the op amps they have in there are not horrible. This is a great sounding amplifier. And that's one of the reasons why I recommend it all the time because it does sound great. It sounds very balanced. But if you wanna increase the clarity, if you want to make this thing better, and here's the cool thing about the Sparkos Labs op amp, and this is the SS3602, okay? Here's the cool thing about it. You can buy this for $80, okay? So if you're on a budget, if you're just getting into hi-fi, if you're a college kid, if you're a high school kid, any type of kid, you can get this for 80, be up and running, having a great time, right? Then when you save some more money, you get the op amps for 160 bucks. And now all in, you're at what's 160 plus 80, 240. You're at $240. And guess what? You can still upgrade this thing further with a more powerful power supply, that 48 volt 5.2 amp power supply from IEMA. So now you have a powerhouse that is very clear, open sounding, and rivals that of more expensive equipment. I always find it funny when people say, this speaker sounds better than speakers five times its cost, 10 times, it could, like all those speakers sound exactly the same, okay? Everything sounds different. What I will say is you're gonna get a significant improvement over the stock sound with the Sparkos Labs dual op amp. I do not have an affiliate relationship with Sparkos Labs. So I'll link their website, go over there, take a look at it. You can contact them too. So if you have a specific piece of equipment and you don't know what you need, contact them, they'll help you out. I told them that I had an IEMA A07. They looked it up and they said, you need these and they sent them over to me. So you're gonna talk to a real person over there and they're gonna help you out. I think this is a no brainer. I think if you have the dexterity, the patience, and the inclination, this is not like building a speaker. This is not like building an amp. This is pulling one thing out and putting in another. And these, since the legs are really stable, you don't have to worry about bending them like these. Now you can get upgraded versions of this, not upgraded, different versions. You can get different chip op amps and change those out as well. I'd just save up and get the Sparko slabs though. There's a couple other pieces of equipment, the A08. You can also use the same op amps. That one has three op amps too. I need to crack open the A300 and see if I can switch out those op amps as well. But I think this is a fun way and a cheap way to improve the sound on something that is already affordable. Highly, highly, highly recommended. So if you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap audio man. Every Sunday night, we have Patreon only Zooms. We also have a Patreon only Facebook group. You can also sign up for Amazon Music or Tidal. Links in the description. If you click on the links, sign up even for a trial. I do get a couple of bucks. You can also, well, buy the IEMA A07. That's an affiliate link. If you use those links, I will get a commission, but it doesn't cost you any more. So it's a great way to support the channel. You can also buy a Rocktopus mug. They're in the description underneath the video. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Get yourself an AO7 from IEMA. Get yourself some Sparko Slabs op amps. Turn on some music and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.